Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is not a familiar setting. I'm here with my boy, Fabby Fabs. What's good, my boy? Same, the same. Fabby Bird. And nah, I'm here yes. with uh, Mr. Anderson Castle. What's good, my boy? What's up, partner? How are you doing, my man? I like how it's like three skin tones. You have the light skin, you have the mid skin, and then you have the dark skin. <laughs> so one of you guys sent me this uh, TV show. Apparently, this is like a very racist show that they aired back in like the 90s or early 2000s, you know, back when the dinosaurs were running around roaming the earth and shit. I think I have like a good understanding of what this show is about. Apparently like these are the first transracial humans. What? So pretty much it's like in order to solve racism, what they did was they decided to transform <laughs> themselves into like different races. It's strange, but like we're gonna check it out. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Bruno and I became a black person. Oh, hell no. Nah. He was originally white and then they niggified him. They niggified him. They niggified him. He's a nigga now. You think I could go through that? So I could be like you guys? Two families. My family, the black family. And we decided to swap races. Oh my God. Would go into makeup and become. <laughs> <laughs> then we moved in together. We talking living together, you know? It's not like, you know, see him for a little party, get together, and they go their way, and we go our way. No, at night, we all live under the same roof. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? yo! Shit, nah, dog, there's no way. We got jobs, went shopping. Hey, white man. We would go out together. He's the honky. We were undercover. We had hidden cameras. We were sneaking around. Hello. <laughs> we did it all. Bro, went to a black sneaking church. Around to church. We're the Wurgles. A uh, typical white American family from Santa Monica. I was about to say, does that not look like Lil Tay? Broke ass niggas, dirty on my wrist. I've never played this game before. I don't know how to play. I was curious to see. Yo, <laughs> they have this. I don't know how to play. Hey, Richard, I don't know how to play, dude. This is my first time out here. I'm one of y'all, but I just happen to really learn the essence of playing. We just a typical black family from Atlanta. Atlanta? Hey, that's where you from! I'm not from Atlanta. That's where you from! Hey, you see a nigga in Atlanta trying to try Tight shit, trying to try all this shit. Yeah, we've been a Hellcat right now. You know what I'm saying? Tight shit. Hellcat, why about I was raised in a very liberal home. So I had compassion for people who have suffered by putting- Oh my God. Eh, eh, my people. Eh, eh. What it's like to be black. She can f***ing me though. She is. I mean, I like it, but it's not something I would wear. Uh, 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 okay. uh, what is he doing? Where you get this song from? What is he doing? Uncle, okay, where you get this attire from? Oh my goodness. Oh you get that from Uganda. Oh, you have lost your damn mind. You can't act. Black. <laughs> you actually can. <laughs> bro, bro, excuse, yo, that not the whole yo, point. What are, what are we doing? Bro, is that not the whole point yo, of this? Dog, what are we doing? They're switching sides. Oh, what, what the fuck is going on? I respect it. If this man comes up to you right now and says, yo, what's good, my nigga? Yeah, you dapping him right up. Yeah. You dapping him right up? Yeah. He goes like, yo, what's good, my nigga? Why go on slam? He's telling me. Am I the only one that thinks you guys are fucking reach? I'm getting spray painted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning black gradually. Uh, being a former basketball player, I always thought how nice it would be if I had to jump. Get off the ground, leap, and slam dunk like these guys can. Right, bro. Yo, I'm trying. Yo, stop laughing. Yo, stop laughing. I'm trying to, I'm trying oh, to take okay, this right. seriously. Oh, my God. That is so strange. Oh, my God. Bruno. It's nice. I, I love black. I mean, visually and somehow heart wise. You could tell she wants some dick. Yeah, she wants some nigga. She dick. wants some, like, bro, you could tell. I'll provide it. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. You look like a really nice man. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, it's just really beautiful. That's just like I'm in love with this woman. It's beautiful. My brother caught the jungle fever. Yeah, my brother caught the jungle fever. He's getting horny. He's getting crazy horny. I can't lie, you really can't do that though. What? Because now he really actually might fall for black women or or she might really be like, oh, I actually want a black man in my life. You have a pack of teas as well? Yeah. Good deal, good deal. Okay, well said. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. Oh, terrible. 
went with golfing as a white guy because that's a predominantly white sport. I wanted to see how I would get treated. The first thing he did when he became a Caucasian, he went, to, golf. He <laughs> went to golf. He went to the golf course. <laughs> hey, and I mean, and he started. I mean, that's what they be doing. That's how they start off their day. I talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. All right, you got a pretty good stroke going there, so I come over to see what you're doing here so I can try to straighten my game like that. So, there you go. You know, we've been shopping for clubs, so we're just interested to see what kind of clubs you're using. Yeah, I have these so. custom made at some little shop down in Burbank. Oh, okay. You know what I like about this guy? He's really selling the character. Like, he's not just dressed as a, a white guy and just like out and about acting like a nigga. Like, he is trying to adopt the mannerisms, the vocal patterns, the way they talk, the activities. Yeah. So it's like, he he's really in. going all in to really sell this. Going undercover in the black world is amazing. People were talking to me like my sister. What would you do if you became a Caucasian, right? What's the first thing you would do? I think the first thing I would do is like, I would just walk into a police station just because. Just because I can. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A normal circumstance, I would never be able to do that. As a white guy, I'm relaxed when I'm shopping. I put on my white makeup and I'm having fun. Okay, answer any questions for you. I like these two here. I okay. uh, kind of like that one better. And then the most amazing thing happened. The guy actually took my foot and put it in the shoe and put a shoehorn in the back to make sure my foot slides. Like he's getting exactly what he's supposed to get, the bare minimum. But like, it's like so like, holy shit. Like it's, it's out of, it's like, you know what I'm Whoa, saying, Andre? It's like, holy shit, I'm getting the, I'm getting exactly what I should be getting on a normal daily basis. It's like, I'm in a shoe store and like nobody's following me around. I was gonna say it's like giving water to an African child. Yeah, like, like that. The band, they should have that. Yeah, you know yeah, you know. It's... Should they really? Huh? It's never happened to me black in 40 years. <laughs> well, it's on I... Dude, his white is really rubbing off. Like, no, I don't no, know. No, no, no. Look, Look at this dude's hairline, bro. Head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's a crazy ass hairline, dog. That shit looks like a wave. Damn, I messed up. We gotta go bald, bro. Oh, shit. Over the next several weeks, my family's gonna be living with the white family. I'll have the opportunity to discuss the experiences that I have with the family that I'll be living with. The nerves of not knowing what to expect, moving into a house with a family we didn't know, in a home we weren't familiar with. Lock on the door, we don't want the black people stealing anything. <laughs>
It's all about pulling pulling it off. Somebody say what's up, just say what's up. Don't ask them what they do. <laughs> He's not lying. Like, niggas don't like when you ask too much questions because yeah. it's like, you sound like a fed. You gonna sound like a fed, bro. Like, you got warrants. I got warrants. He especially got warrants. So, like, the last thing that we want. So far, I've really enjoyed meeting the Sparkses. I've learned a lot. There's like a whole world, a whole community in being black. It's like a secret society with shared experiences and language and customs. Bro, she said a shared is like a secret society <laughs> being black. What language well, is she yeah, talking like about? What, language? what the f language is she talking about? Maybe the one in Wakanda or something. Being black is a very subtle thing, you know. Really hit you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get some attitude from some prick white guy and have all the history of resentment mm -hmm. right. that a black man has, and I'll be able to <laughs> with him. Oh, just, yeah. you know, uh, mentally spar with him and go, like, you know, it's just, hey, <laughs> He didn't say that. No, no, come back. He did not say that. He did not say that. Come back. Come back. Come back. Another one. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Bro? Tell him to stop. I can't. I, I tried. I tried. Today, Carmen and I are going to be black people in a focus group of all black people. It'll be a panel of black people talking about race and racism. We're going to be black people with other black people in a group for the black, black people, people talking about black, black people. people and race. But most importantly, we're gonna be black. Talking about black, black people. people. Yeah, makes sense. I knew that Brian was behind the two-way mirror, and he had given me some advice on how to be black. He told me to sort of just kick back, um, don't have great posture, lean to one side, and sort of slouch in the chair. <laughs> just kick back and relax. That, I call it. He just looks. He looks like yeah. You know that ash that comes from volcanoes and shit like that dirty ash? It looks like it just blew all over his face. And that's what happened, bro. He Yo! Black, bro. He just looks dirty. <coughs> get this. Pick that up. Hey, get over here, you know. I'm like, wait, hey, I'm a man. They don't even talk to their kids like that. There's a world there that I got. Is she asleep? Is she sleeping? There's a lot of controversy about the N-word and who can use it or whether it should be used at all. Who has experienced an intentional attempt to disrespect you by using that term? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 don't, yo, 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 don't. Yo, do not under, yo, if this nigga puts his hand up, yo. Yo, check it with his wife. Hey, can I put my hand up? Can I? I swear to God, they got to get a pre-check. Yo, this Have you had experiences like that? Yeah, I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up intoxicated or didn't have the right dress on, you know, they'd say, come on, nigga, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's the biggest troll. <laughs> this nigga is a troll, bro. This nigga is... The fact that he just made up a whole fake story in his in, head. In half a second. In half a second, yeah, like... So I was a doorman for a disco, and uh, someone came up to me, didn't have the right things to get in. Call me a I was like, yeah, I, I was like, yeah. you know what? This shit is premeditated. Make no mistake, guys. This shit is premeditated, bro. My main thing is just to be the fly on the wall. See how whites act when blacks are nowhere around. I'll be able to, you know, actually hear what they say when I'm not in the room. But I'll actually be in the room. She's walking like a white woman. My name is Brian. I enjoy uh, building computers, uh, things like that. I like fixing things with my hand. My name is Renee. My hobbies, whoa. <laughs> Swimming, tennis, shopping. How prevalent is racism still in today's society? Uh, you know, I want to think that everybody is treated equally, and you know what? They're not. Um, I had an experience where I was managing a girl who was black, and she had the worst attitude I have ever seen. I went, Yo, she was about to fucking get up and punch like, her across. She's like, hmm. she's like, she did one of she did one of those. But hey, hey, hey. Mm. Let's hear her out. Let's hear the white woman out. Let's hear it out. Let's, let's hear the story. Yeah, let's, let's hear it out. Let's hear it out. Yeah. Yesterday there's a black guy behind the counter and uh, my friend tipped him and said, put a tip in the jar and said, Thank you, brother. And the guy said, Watch how you say that. Only black people. Watch how you say that? What? There you go, bro. Nah, have you ever? Nah, I don't believe that. The white that. nigga must have been saying it in a way. He must have. Like, he to didn't know, say. To he did not down. say, brother. He did not. We know what he said. He did uh, not say, brother. We know what he said. Sometimes there's these innate things that I think have been taught that, you know, I shake someone's hand that's black, and my instinct is to wipe it. Just to wipe it.
If they shake a black person's hand? Yeah, he said, my first instinct when I shake a black person's hand is to wipe it. Oh. I was shocked. Those focus groups were really eye-opening. I look forward to having someone say, hey, nigga. <laughs> Yo, my brother had one opportunity and he took it. I respect it. <laughs> My brother had one opportunity and he <laughs> took it. I respect it. We're 24 minutes in. Yeah. And he said it at pretty much every, How, every four minutes. Every, every five, five minutes, minutes he, he said it. Anyway. He, he said, said that shit at least. I've said it this month. Like, we haven't even, we I've barely said, said it this video, bro. He said it more than us. To come up to me and say, hey, n n n It's like, it reminds me of the Boondocks episode. Nigga this, nigga that. Nigga, please. Nigga, 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 nigga bought a french fry. They all freaked out about it. And I just look at him and go, Gee, why, why, why are you calling me that? <laughs> and that would be the end of it. It would not. Absolutely not. I think that most white people, not all, would love to say nigga in the presence of black and, and not have any repercussions. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd like for that to be a thing, right? But when Caucasians say the word nigga, it just don't sound right. It's not that it don't sound right. It's that it, it doesn't come from good intention. Yeah, it it it's, just it doesn't come. It makes it it makes me feel like I'm a fucking like stealing my chains and shackles. Like, if I hear a white nigga, if I hear a white person say nigga, if they're singing a song, I don't give up. I don't really give a fuck. Uh, not really. But when nah, they really when they care. say it on purpose to trigger you to trigger you yeah, like a so black weird. person, then it's like ah, it's you're weird. just doing it to, to, to be racist. Right? Yeah, I come from a place of not expecting to be assaulted by racism. And maybe that's a huge difference. They are so aware of the fact that they are black and that they are separate and they are different. Well, you said, uh, you know, you guys are going to get a lot more out of this than I am because, right. you know, you're going to be black right. and I'm going to be white. Right. Okay. Well, you said it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so far, I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, n***a. Very curious to see if I am reacted to differently as Black Bruno than I am as White Bruno. No. If Black people are just the same as White people, by becoming a Black. But she can't wait to do this. Look at how excited she is. She look excited, bro. She look way too excited. It will be easier for me as a White man to get a job because I'm White. When they see me, they'll see likeness. It'll be easier for me to fit in. Press. Hey, you must be Brian. Brian. You're here for an interview. I sure am. All right, well, let me just take you over to a, t uh, a table and then we'll get you to fill out some stuff. Sounds good. Leo's bar is an all white this, this nigga. This nigga is so good. This nigga is so good, bro. I'm so. telling you, bro. Like, the way, like, just the way he, like, he's practiced, bro. And it comes off so smooth. It's like, it's like, Dude. it's like you're here for a job interview. Oh, sure am. Stop glazing him, bro. If you're a bartender, if black was brought up in a white surrounding when the patrons are drunk, I think it's much different than sober. Oh, he's smart. True. That's pretty smart. He's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. He's one of the smart. I mean, he's he's very smart. You're part of the family, I, so you know. Oh, okay, uh, I like that. Okay, I got the job. Hey. Thank you for this opportunity. It's, <laughs> it's like, oh, you were part of the family, but like, uh, no. Uh, it's like, ah. Uh, Hey, this is not OTF. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is not FPF. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on now, man. Like, this is not O Block. Like, you know how we do our business here. Yeah. Where do you stay at? O Block. What do you do for a living? Bang, bang. They told me, welcome to the family. They knew I was white when they said, welcome to the family. Damn, that, that was like 15 minutes. You got the job in 15 minutes? Yeah. Shit. There's so many beautiful poems out there, but they're not performed right. We teach performance and writing skills. But I like. Why does they get head so big? It's like his brain's just a skull. Dog, like, his head is like shaped like a. a skull, that's a crazy bro. shape. Bro. That's a crazy ass shape. Like his back of his head looked like a like a sirloin steak. <laughs> Same shit, different toilet, nigga. Fuck, fuck. Come on now, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm really excited about taking this poetry class because I want to know what it's like to be black. I want to immerse myself in the culture. Do you have any poems like? You know what that means? Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 100 percent real, nigga. Black people are so talented. Yeah. Are they really? Uh, not you, but every other one. Giddy Mario. 
Today I went to several car dealerships to see if I'm treated any differently as a black person. He's gonna go buy a car. What car do you think he's gonna buy? Chevy like, Impala. It makes sense for him to go get like, yeah, cause this is back in what, 2005? Yeah. Chevy Impalas, what else was popular? The big ass rims, Escalades. Escalades. Yeah. Yeah. You, Cause this nigga is a fucking filthy troll, let's keep it a bean. Yeah, so like, it only good. makes sense that he's gonna go buy the blackest of black cars. You know what I mean? I've spoken to black friends. We will say that you don't know what it is to be the black man who's looked at with suspicion. Somebody looks at me and they have. <laughs> I was on a lot no more than 20, 30 seconds before somebody would notice me and come right over to me. What if you don't have such good credit? When I tell them that I have lousy credit, they tell me that I'm gonna have to put more money down. I think that's rather standard. This nigga must not know. This nigga must not know like how it works. Oh, you know, like I was just at the car lot, just looking at the cars peeking inside. And like, I didn't go in more than five minutes without somebody coming up to me and asking me if everything's okay. <laughs> like this nigga must not know how it works. They're making sure you're not stealing anything. That's why they're always there looking at you, giving you service. They wanna make sure you're not stealing anything. I'm gonna come as Bruno as a black man, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna show everybody courtesy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal with life the way Bruno does, and I'm gonna appear black. He's just gonna randomly throw in the N-word, I can already tell, like, it's just gonna happen, and we're not gonna be prepared. And like, somebody's gonna have a stroke. It's most likely gonna be me. You're a son of a bitch. I hate you, Nick. Bro, why does he wanna be called the hot off? I don't know, it's, it must be a fetish thing. I don't know. No, me personally, like- I think it's like, because he just thinks that that's what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Out of pocket for that shit. Hey, Jonathan, my favorite performer is Dave Chappelle. Uh W, that's a W man's, that's a W man's. Entertainer, I kind of love the cranberries, so. The cranberries. The cranberries. <laughs> they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> they're like, what the, the cranberries, what the fuck been, is they that? They've been trolling, they've been trolling. Yeah, they, bro, what the fuck is that? So many fall before me with war life stories of prison and death. I said, who got the idea that I was ready for this? <laughs> I felt face. like how my patience remains. Though at times I feel an alien blood runs through these veins, and this thoughts is <laughs> <laughs> a mutual undulation of want and reciprocal acceptability and performance. Boring. Whoa, the taste whoa, of whoa, sex, whoa, 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 the body, whoa, whoa, flesh hey, with hey, hot hey, hey, hey. of unbroken fruit, a dripping bouquet <laughs> of red ripe. What the fuck is what the fuck is going on? You can tell that we're trying to be as respectful. As they're, like they're really just trying to like right. like I don't it's think she. She did not understand the assignment at all. Like, I think when he said spoken word, she was like, she genuinely thought it was like some spoken word type yeah, shit. But when we say word. spoken word, it's like, you gotta come with the bars. Like, you know what I mean? She did not come with the bars at all. Oh this project God. is what so is much that? more- Ew, yeah, you nasty! So how was today for you, Yeah, I was just about to ask you. It was incredible. Some of the most beautiful- Is she wearing a fucking do-rag? Is she wearing a fucking do-rag? Who? Huh? Some of the most. No, bro. Not, no. What is that? Bro, it's just a thing going to. It's a bandana. She's Let wearing a bandana. That's a bandana. Am I the? Am I? Do you see that shit too? I don't see it, bro. Bro, she has a fucking bandana on her head. She just looks normal to me. That's a normal black woman, right? There. Okay, never mind. Everything was just from the heart. Racism, prejudice, black lifestyle came up a lot because they were talking about being black. So did you get up and say anything? I did, but here I am in front of everybody and I'm like, I hope it at least is black enough to get through this class. Like, you know what, if I done got in there. Yeah, I don't like that. Is black enough? Is it bl it black enough to get through this class? Is wild. And she bro. said that shit was a crazy expression. Like she face. said that shit with like passion too. My dad is always talking about how whites are treated differently than black people. But my generation now, we really don't see all that. We just see people. As long as you cool with us, then we cool with you. That's <laughs> not Trayvon anymore. That's Trevor. It's That's Trevor. You gotta call him Trevor with a hard R. Say it. Trevor. Yeah. Damn. Fucking racist. Oh shit. Claudia. Claudia Rose. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rose. Hi, I'm Claudia. Nice Nick. to meet you. It was good, nigga. Soothe the outside. Yeah. Jeez, I guess was Remember true. when your mom used to feed you? It was like this. Yes. Okay, you guys are grown-ups now. I actually don't think. White white people do this shit. Eric, this is a. Do you have to eat the soup like that? How do you eat the soup? Brother, a chug jug, bro. This nigga thought it was like a literal Fortnite chug jug, bro. It was so easy because they thought I was so white up in there. I just asked him a simple question. 
what is the neighborhood like? That's crazy. The first thing this nigga asked, what is, like, how is the neighborhood? It's like, it's a white area. There's no black people at all. So you don't have nothing to worry about. Wow. I kind of got that feel when yeah. I came through this neighborhood. And the neighbors wanted to was... stay that way. Exactly. They don't want a lot of change. They don't want a lot of building. They don't want a lot of immigration. We don't want a lot of niggas. We don't want a lot of niggas. We don't lot of, want a lot of Hispanics. We don't want a lot of gays. We don't want a lot of anything. We just want it to be nice and white. Amen. Amen, right? I'm just, amen. <laughs> They've seen what's happened in the peripheral communities. Oh, okay. And it's taken the quality of life down. Yo, this nigga is still going. This area up here is somehow remained untouched. Okay. So That's interesting. That's so if you're looking for a safe place to raise your kids, you can't do better than this, I think. This brother might as well put on a clan one of them clan robes and put on one of them clan hats. Like, he might as well, his brother is still going. Bruno tries to make light of my experiences of racism. It's very important to me that he sees what blacks deal with on a daily basis. My buddy from one guy I play ball with, um, Scott, and he's uh, six, seven, a big guy, and black. <laughs> You said black? Yeah, you have to mention that he was black. Come yeah, on. He, Big yeah, guy, six, seven. Yeah. Black. <laughs> man, man. <laughs> man. Yo! Man. Yo! Man. Yo! Man. Yo! <laughs> Why are you wheezing? <laughs> he finds a way to sneak either nigga or the fact that someone is black. Yo, he just finds a fucking way every time dog the six seven big guy uh, black by the way the objective today is to find out whether we can roam freely and without um excessive paranoia see that did you see that whatever see looking ran over oh i didn't see that yeah <laughs> Bruno oh, thinks that salespeople are coming over to help him, but they're really coming over to size him up. That's what I'm saying. Like, he doesn't know the tech. He, he, he he, know. He's mesquite, bro. Like, he doesn't know how it works. He thinks, like, people are coming over to help him to be nice That's and, like and helpful. That's why he's trying to have a conversation, but oh, I like your suit, man. Uh, I you like know. your Like, no, and that nigga is not so. coming over you to be like, to, to he's coming over to see what you're, you're up gonna, to. If you're gonna cause trouble. To, like to make sure you're not stealing. You, like See how fast they can get you up the yeah. store. Come on now, bro. Like, oh, they be doing that. I think from your reaction today, you're looking for it. I'm not looking for it. You know a snubbing. snubbing I, I get snubbed know? now too. I would like for Bruno to just understand that it is a little bit more difficult being black in an all white society than being white in an all white society. You see what you wanna see. And you don't see what you don't wanna see. I mean, I get the both sides. Maybe the black guy's making it more than what it could should be. Also, the the, the white guy's not seeing the, the not perspective. Seeing at least some of his perspective. Yeah. At all. I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, "Hey, Nick." So that was uh, black white. Uh, what do you what do you guys think? I think um, it's ten out of ten. Sure, I think they should do it and recreate in 2023. I, I, I think they should definitely recreate in 2023. I do. I think they should as well. But like, they need to have armed security to make sure nobody dies. Because if they did this today, yeah, like this somebody's today. definitely getting chefed. Something is definitely happening to Bruno. Bruno's most definitely getting violated. We could do another episode, um, depending on this one does. You guys let us know in the uh, comment section down below if we should do this again um, and do episode because they have like a whole 12 episode series of this. So like if this does well, maybe we could do like another. All you got to do is comment down Quarter below. Quarter million likes, bro. Okay, that's a little bit too high. Quarter million likes. Okay, that's a little bit too high. 500k dislikes and we'll do another one, guys. Do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. That's also okay. You know what? Fine. If we can get those with whatever they said, we'll do this again. That's hoping and praying YouTube doesn't demonetize this shit because sometimes they do that. Anyways, everybody go shop yourshoecaptainshop.com. Um, I don't know what the website is called, but everyone go shop. Everyone go. He's about to release some merch. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you know this shit. Merch. Grab that shit. Check out my boy Babs. Check out my boy Andre. The links to their channels will be down in the description. Okay, make sure you guys. If you guys do not subscribe to them. Okay, I'm gonna run my 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 <laughs> brand new Chevy Camaro through your fucking living room, and that's a fact. Tell him this a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, tell him to tell him to. Yeah, that's what I'll do.
That's what I'll do. With all that being said, um, we'll uh we'll do this uh we'll do this again uh some other time. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Shout out to the True Commandos, man. They are Heaven Hype, Jewel ZB, 1300, and Catherine. When I find you guys, I'm going to kiss y'all, okay? So do not run away. Entanglement with Congress. Entanglement with Congress. Entanglement. Entanglement. Entanglement with Congress. Entanglement with Congress. Entanglement with Congress. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with Congress. Got into an entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. With August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. 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 August.